Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I have this Rosalind Temperature Changing Poly Gel Kit. It includes 6 poly gels. Each poly gel tube does have 15 grams each. And before I go ahead and proceed to show you guys the set that I came up with, I'm going to go ahead and first show you guys the beautiful swatches. So for today's set, I will be doing some XXL tapered square nails. I haven't done long nails in a while and I missed it so much and I'm just so excited for you guys to see this set because I am in love with it. I'm using some XXL C curved nail tips and then I went ahead and just cut the sides and taper them a little bit more to get this perfect tapered square look. Here I'm going to go ahead and be pouring some 70% alcohol into my dappen dish. Then I will be using my Gershon poly gel brush. I'm going to go ahead and submerge that into some alcohol first to get it prepped so we're able to you know, go ahead and get right into the application so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the color white nude pink it's a gorgeous color and it's definitely my favorite color out of this kit I'm gonna be placing some onto my little spatula here just like so then placing the poly gel onto my natural nail so for this nail in particular I'm not gonna go over the process of me you know do my French tip and all that explaining that I usually do the reason being is I am out of frame for most of this nail um, I was just getting my, you know, camera set up and all that. And unfortunately, I don't think I was looking at my screen. Um, so I was a little bit off. I was out of frame. But for the next nail, I am going to go ahead and go over how I create my French tip. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to go ahead and push this back towards the cuticle area. Then I'm going ahead and push in the poly gel towards the right side wall. Here I'm pushing towards the left side wall first, just making sure that I have my natural nail fully coated. Then I'm pulling some of the poly gel towards the middle where I want my smile line to be. Then here I'm going ahead and kind of creating a V cut. But at the same time, I'm not going to go ahead and make the end sharp. I'm just going to go ahead and round that out to create an almond shape. Just because I personally love that deep French, I just love the way it looks. I don't like rounded out French tips. I think it looks gross, but this is just me personally. Here, I'm going to go ahead and just continue doing that to the entire nail. I'm also going ahead and measuring it towards the index finger to make sure, you know, that all the smile lines look very similar or a little bit more accurate next to each other. You know, they like kind of like the same height and all that. So here, if I feel like I don't have enough pojo to create that French tip, or that smile line I'm going in just applying a little bit more just like so and that's basically the rest of my process I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys enjoy watching me create these friendships for the rest of the nails and just let you guys enjoy the music I will be back shortly to explain what I'm gonna go ahead and be doing next
so here's how my Frenchies look and now I'm gonna go ahead and be doing a little bit minimal filing so first off we're gonna remove the tacular using 70% alcohol and a lint free wipe just like so then I'm gonna go in and use my crochet 100 times 180 grit hand file to go ahead and just round out the ends a little bit more I feel like they were a little too sharp to my liking like I said I want to kind of get an almond the Frenchie look um, but yeah I'm basically just gonna go ahead and be doing that to each and every single nail Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the color white. I'll be placing a little bit onto the nail tip just like so. I do recommend applying a base coat before, you know, placing the polish on there on the nail tip. Otherwise, it's not going to be very easy for you to maneuver it around. Like I had a little bit of trouble here and there. I know I could have added base coat and I told myself add base coat, but at the same time it was literally so I was like, hey, whatever. I'll just work with it, you know. But like I said, I do recommend you guys add base coat. Here I'm going ahead and applying a very thin layer, like I said, of the color white. And I'm making it as thin as possible, then removing the excess, and we're not going to go ahead and cure. I'm going to go ahead and be applying a very thin layer of white to each and every single nail as well. I'm going to go ahead and be applying some of these beautiful mylar flakes, as you guys can see here. Using a silicone pen, I'm going to go ahead and be using that to go ahead and pick up the mylar flakes and place that onto the white poly gel only. Then lastly, once I have that nail fully covered, then I'm going to go ahead and cure for 30 to 60 seconds. I'm going to be using this Rosaline Clear Poly Gel and I'm only going to go ahead and be encapsulating you know where I went ahead and placed the Mahler Flakes. I'm not going to go ahead and encapsulate the smile line just yet. Here as you can see I'm going ahead and just making sure that I fully cover the entire free edge first. Just like so. I did only go ahead and show you guys the process of encapsulating on the index finger. I didn't want to go ahead and bore you guys with just watching me encapsulate you know. I think that's pretty boring. Uh, but yeah I just went ahead and did that to each and every single nail. Then I went ahead and cured for 30 to 60 seconds. So here's how the nails looked. I noticed right away they could kind of still see my natural nail there. Here you guys can see that. I also noticed that I didn't have my apex structure correctly. So to go ahead and fix that mistake that I have there, I'm going to go in with the color white and nude pink and just going in and basically just following that small line that i already created just making sure that i add just an extra layer you know to make sure that it fully covers my entire natural nail and then you know you're not able to see my natural nail at all and yeah that's basically what i'm going to go ahead and continue doing for each and every single nail as well
so here's how the nails now look i'm so happy that i went in with a second layer on the smile line just how beautiful those look here's the side profile and now to fully get my apex and that structure correctly i'm gonna go in with some clear by rosin of course I start by placing some pot gel farther from the cuticle area first and pushing that backwards into the cuticle area, working my way towards the left side wall first. You guys can see I'm just pushing that all to the left side wall, making sure that I fully coat that um, nail. Then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how my apex looks so far. Here I'm going ahead and just gently maneuvering that around towards the right side wall. Now that I finished fully covering the entire nail, I'm going to go ahead and gently be dragging the paw gel upwards towards the free edge to remove any excess. Here, you guys can see I accidentally touched the paw gel with my finger. And so I'm just going to go ahead and fix that. And yeah, that's basically what I did for each and every single nail. I did not show you guys the process of me encapsulating. Like I said, I didn't want to bore you guys with doing the same thing over and over again. But anywho, now that I went ahead and finished that, this is how the nails all look. I overall am very, very proud of how my smile looks. Besides the index finger, the index finger is a little bit more rounded out than I would like. But overall, I'm really, really happy with how these turned out. I also noticed that I definitely improved in my application. The more you improve in your application, the less filing you have to do. Here, now I'm going to go in with some alcohol to remove that tacky layer. So we're ready to go ahead and just, you know, get right into filing. Use the lymphy wipe. I'm just going to go ahead and just remove that alcohol, like I said, to remove that tacky layer. So after removing the tacky layer, this is how the nails look and I'm going to go ahead and be reshaping my sidewalls just a bit here. I'm using my Gershon hand file and I'm using the 100 side to go ahead and make sure that I get those crisp sidewalls that I like. So here's how my sidewalls look after they've been reshaped. Now I'm going in with a dusting brush to remove any of the excess dust. Using my safety ceramic bit in 8000 RPMs and in forward motion, I'll be going ahead and just basically removing any bulk or anything like that and also sealing the cuticle area in. So to better explain what I'm doing here, I'm basically working my way up from the cuticle area down towards the free edge to remove any bulk. You guys can see I'm going ahead and just making sure that I fully seal that cuticle area in. And now I'm going to work my way downward towards the free edge. I did only go ahead and be showing you guys my filing process for the index finger. Because basically my shaping and all that filing is the same exact thing for every single note, you know. Later on, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys after my filing how my apex looks on the index finger.
So after shaping and filing, and this is how my nails now look. Now I'm gonna go in with this buffer. This buffer basically just polishes the entire nails, making the surface a very, very smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, show you guys how my apex looks. Here's how they look. And I'm just gonna go ahead and continue buffing the entire nail. To remove any dust, I'm going to go with some alcohol, a lamp wipe, and just remove any dust, any debris, any of that sort of stuff because we are going to be doing a little bit of some nail art line work, you know. I'll be using some of the Savland Gold Gel Paint. It's a really pretty color. Just look at how beautiful that looks. Then I'm going to be using this liner brush that I go ahead and just trimmed myself. But before we get started, I'm going to go in with some nail addict top coat and top coat each nail, then care for 30 to 60 seconds. So now that that's been cured, I'm going to go ahead and be aligning the smile and using that gold gel paint, then curing for 30 to 60 seconds. So after outlining the smile line, this is how the nails now look. Using my Born Pretty Super Top Coat, I'm going to go ahead and just top coat each nail, then cure for 30 to 60 seconds. So this is how the nails now look. I'm going to go in with my painted desert cuticle to rehydrate my cuticles. So this is how the set turned out. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Here you guys can see that the color of the nails are already changing. It turns pink when it is cold and then white when it's warm. I am so happy with how the set turned out. I love them. And it made me realize how much I miss doing the extra long nails. You know, they just look super pretty. I will be going ahead at the end of the video showing you guys the full set with the white color. Here you guys can see the white color outside. And then also the hot pink like little, you know, color there. As always, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and just supporting me. You know, it means a lot to me. I'm very grateful and appreciative of you guys. And as always, make sure you go ahead and like this video. And if you guys have any questions or anything like that, make sure you guys let me know down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.